Christmas joins us now. <laughs> I'm going to take responsibility for that one, mate, because I, I, I pulled you, I pulled you up on it, didn't I, just before we came on, and I put it back in your head. <laughs> yeah, you're playing Jedi mind games with me. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Oh, Chris, <laughs> thanks for joining us. That, that was from your last tour, Speaky Blinders, and you've it, got a brand new tour, yeah. at Yonks. It is, yeah. Can you tell us about that? So Yonks is, um, it's, you know what, it's. It, it's, I've gone old school, you know, in the 90s, I was a massive stand-up fan. And, um, you know, I think the Edinburgh Festival these days plays a lot into um, developing people's tours. And because you need to stand out at the Edinburgh Festival, a lot of shows end up being quite thematic or about a subject, you know. And I think my last tour was a little bit like that as well. There was a lot of personal family-like stuff and about kind of being a dad and doing all of that in the dark, you know. And, um, <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it's whereas so it, funny. This one, I've, I've kind of gone old school and done one of those stand-up shows that it's, that's about absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> so it's about loads of things, but but, um, but there's no there's no theme. It's about everything from Arnold Schwarzenegger to William Shakespeare and, and me love for one and the hate me hate for the other. And um, you know, AI and turnips and, and loads of stuff in between. <laughs> so, no one's learning anything. That's what I'm saying. No, no one wants to learn anything. No one wants to, yeah. Half, right? There you Is go. that because you got into trouble for telling too many stories about your family? Is that what happened? Uh, do you know what? I've given my daughter uh, this tour off, really. She's... Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's my daughter's 10 now, and she's. Um, you know, she, she used to, um, I think she's getting to that age where, you know, the kids become a little bit more um, aware of it, don't they? Oh. But I remember once I was going to do a telly show and she goes, um, she said, now don't be talking about me on the TV tonight. And then, um, and then she thought about it, she went, actually talk about me on the TV tonight. <laughs> can, we, can we talk about her one more time? Because you tell this amazing story about bath time with her. Yeah, so this, so this story was on my very first live at the Apollo, and it was about uh, my daughter when she was about two years old, and she did a poo in the bath. <laughs> and um, she, she, she handed it to me, and she asked me what it was. <laughs> and I had to smell it <laughs> and to, to, to see what it was. And then I kind of played the story out about what was going on in her head, whether she really didn't know what it was, or whether she was like, hang on a minute, I can get this fella. <laughs> But well, she thought it was an ice cream, didn't she? Yeah, listen, Easily like, done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she said to me, what's this, Daddy? Is it ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, that, that's the only, for years, that was the only bit of my stand-up that she'd ever seen, right? Because my wife showed it to her. And so for years, she thought that's what I did. She thought I just went out to work, I told everybody she did a poo in the bath. <laughs> and, and it got to the stage where she kind of knew that's how I earned money. And I, she must have been there going, oh, do you know what? Thank God I did that poo in the bath or we'd have nothing. We'd be... <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't be able to eat. <laughs> So good. <laughs> so good. Oh, wow. And also, one day when she gets married, you know, it's going to be in the speech as well, isn't it? You know what I mean? She won't like it as much then. Absolutely, but... yeah. But the thing oh, is, as well, she, she said to me as well, this is the innocence of children, right? She goes, can I come to your show? And I said, no, you're not old enough. She said, when can I come? She said, when I'm 18. And she goes, and you can tell the story about me doing the poo in the bath, and then I can come out the end and go, hey, everybody, it's me. <laughs> I said, I said, you're really not going to want to do that, sweetheart. That's... <laughs> oh, That's so good. sorry. Um, um, it, it, there's a lovely... Oh. It's staying with your daughter on a kind of different non-pooey note. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Technology yeah. is really helping you out here a little bit, oh, get closer to her, because obviously, you know, your, your vision is hugely impaired. Well, hugely. Like, nothing, mate, nothing. <laughs> what can you see, actually? Could you have nothing or do you see light? Blurry light, blurry light. light. Yeah, okay. just, just different levels of blurriness. And I, I was watching... In, in the in the dressing room, by the way, the little girl that was on before Maya. Oh yeah. Oh, what a sweetheart, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah. So positive as well. Um, I mean, just amazing. Great. Um, but no, I, I, I'm sure with Maya, it, it's kind of just nothing if, if she's never seen. Whereas mine deteriorated, so it's bl just blurry, blurry light, really. Okay, but AI yeah. is helping you out quite a bit here, isn't it? It gets a bad press, doesn't it, AI? Yeah. I mean, it will kill us all one day, but you've got to take the rough with the smooth, haven't you? <laughs> um, but at the minute, and I use it every day, and I. Um, I, I, can, I can use the AI, I'll take a photograph of something and it will describe what is in the photo to me in a way that no human has ever got the patience to talk to me. And it means that I can take photographs of my daughter, I can, even if she does a drawing, I'll take a photograph of the drawing and the AI will literally explain it's a drawing of a park setting with a pond and there are stick figures and, and stick dogs. And it even said, 
the sun has been drawn with a, stitch, a stitched effect to make it look like it's stitched. If I ask my wife that or anyone else, they just go, it's a park. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd had it like eight years ago and could have taken a photo with one. It's a poo, don't go near it. Oh, oh Chris, I'll tell you what, you, you, you've got funny bones. Like, you oh, only got to open your mouth and I laugh my head yeah. off. You're so funny. Um, yeah. I just think you're brilliant, absolutely yeah. brilliant. You bring thank joy, you. that's why I call you Christmas. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, mate. Yeah. Good backtracking. Good back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, absolutely brilliant. So you're on tour now and um, yeah, tour. With, with Yonks. Yeah. Where, where are you tonight? So I'm in Maidstone tonight, tomorrow. I was in Bury St Edmunds last night and got home at one o'clock in the morning. So this is me after three cups of coffee. Oh, you're uh, doing well. Powering through. Um, Maidstone tonight and tomorrow. And then we carry on for... Well, basically, we carry on until people stop buying tickets. I'll keep on going until I'm in a room on my own. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's never going to happen. But uh, tickets are on my website at chrismacorsland.com, really, for, no, for everywhere. I'll be going everywhere. No, a nice little plug there, Chris. Sorry, I just lost it then. He's yeah, too funny. funny. Brilliant. Yeah. Chris, thanks <laughs> so much. Thank you. Thank thanks you. So much. Uh, now, after the break, Alice there.